We're hearing from a Polk County attorney tonight handing, uh, handling the fallout of a state Supreme Court decision. Back in June, the court decided people cannot testify using one-way video in criminal cases. They say because it violates the Constitution. KCCI's Ethan Humble joins us now. Ethan, one Iowa man now is uh, getting a new trial after he received a, a life sentence. That's right, Todd. A jury found Michael Dunbar lured a girl into his car and sexually abused her in 2022. But now almost two years after he first appealed the sentencing, Dunbar has been granted a new trial. Assistant Polk County Attorney Megan Guns is disappointed by the decision. My initial thoughts um, are frankly frustration for the victim. And it's coming after what she thought was a closed case. In February of last year, a jury found Michael Dunbar lured a girl into his car and sexually abused her in 2021. He was sentenced to life in prison on first degree kidnapping and second degree sexual abuse of a minor charges. But shortly after the sentencing, Dunbar appealed, saying the victim's testimony over a one-way camera violated his right to confront his accuser. Guns, who has handled 20 cases using one-way video in the past, says it hasn't been an argument until recently. We follow the tests that are required, uh, and there had not been a, an issue on this. But using the precedent set forth by a similar case earlier this summer, State v. White, the appeal was successful. And just like in that case, the victim will now need to testify again this time in person. Gunn says the treatment isn't fair. It is incredibly important for our victims to be able to testify truthfully and openly without having to face the perpetrator. And she says needing to speak in front of their perpetrators can be traumatizing for victims. That is troubling for us that our victims may have to go through that process. Gunn says she has three similar cases on appeal that could potentially be affected by the ruling, and Dunbar's new trial is set for October 14th. Todd. Thanks, Ethan.